What I done they for fire Oh boy, to see them done they for pots They boy together My belly done the sweet plus Everybody they together and spice and it's still amazing china so before i take care of this recipe here go call your friends neighbors and everybody around you please and spice is about to start and we are starting from china we woke up as early as 5 a.m to catch the electric train leaving beijing for suzhou i have taken trains before but this will be my first in a very fast electric train The ride was beautiful and I had time to sleep. We arrived Suzhou after about 5 hours. Very tired but we had to go see the lingering garden. Okay, this morning we have arrived southern part of China, the southern part of the Yangtze River. And today we are visiting the lingering garden. I hear this garden is so magnificent and it's actually some of the gardens here in the down south China that the ones we saw in Beijing copy from. So let's see what they have in there. I'm happy to see. And you know, they also said um, the word lingering was kind of coined out of the fact they believe that if you come to this um, garden, you don't want to go home. So let's see how long they can keep us here for. Let's go. The lingering garden was commissioned in 1593 CE and ownership has passed from person to person. Since its creation, the Lingering Garden has inspired a lot of artists because of its beauty. All the furniture and the wooden structure dates back to 250 years ago, mid Qin Dynasty. They all the furniture and uh, were made out now more wood, kind of mahogany. It can be reserved for a long, long time. Okay. Maybe more than 1,000 years. Yes. And uh, the, in ancient times, men were superior to women. Men were superior to women. You know okay. that? The feudal society. So, normally, female family members could not sit here to receive their guests. Only the distinguished guests from other family can be received here by the male family member. Okay. So uh, later you will see the ladies' reception. Here's a, actually we can call this place men's reception. Men's reception. Yeah, not for you, for your husband. That that's the different. That's different. Here, all this section in ancient times was kind of the reception hall for the lady members. Okay. From, see the screen, from the bright part to the dark side, you can't see anything. Yeah. A moment ago when we were standing there, we saw... Yeah, when we're standing there, we from cannot see inside. The to the bright side, we can see everything. Everything there, and yeah. Just the, because here is a good place for the... Women. For the women to... Listen to their husband's negotiation with the, the, the other businessmen. Okay. Also, it's a good place for the grown up, grown up daughters to peep on the boy taken by the matchmaker oh. from the other family. Oh, okay. You know, before 1949, all the marriage must be arranged, arranged by, by the by parents. Families, yeah. So, the, if even you were very pretty, very uh, stunning, but you still had no the rights to choose the husband in future. Yeah. The, the, the bride and the groom must uh, have matched the family standing, yeah. social standing. Yeah. So the parents arranged the uh, marriage. Before marriage, you, you, can't, you couldn't see uh, your husband Hold in future. Yeah. But some parents spoiled the daughter very much. They allowed their daughter 
sit here, keep on the boys, boys. they can buy much later. Oh, okay. If she found the, the boy is good, uh, very good, she was satisfied with the boy. boy. Okay, she asked the chambermaid to step up to the boys, offer a cup of tea okay. to tell the matchmaker and the parents. Okay, yeah. I like this guy, the like deal. You. If there is no tea, that means ah, uh, change another no deal. About 700 meter walk around the garden, I was able to see the lotus flower for the first time. We've had a very beautiful time at the lingering garden. It's beautiful. Like, I now understand why it's called lingering because we just kept lingering from one corner of the house to the other. Beautiful scenery, beautiful history, and of course, I love the goldfishes and the lotus flower. Yeah, I actually got to um, see the lotus flower for the first time today. So it's really, really nice. So now let's move on and see what else Sojo's got to show us. We enjoyed our walk around this garden, and of course, we took lots of pictures. From the garden, we decided to stop by the silk factory. Our next stop is the silk factory in Suzu. Now, here, I hear um, in Suzu, they have a lot of mulberry trees and mulberry trees produces um, the silkworm that produces silk. So we are here at this factory with a whole lot of history. My tour guide is going to take us around the, the silk. You can all already see them displayed. We all know silk is a very good material used for a whole lot of things these days. And even from time immemorial, silk is as treasured as gold. So let's see what they have to tell us about silk today. And of course, if I like some, I'll pick some. Let's go. Silk material is one of the most expensive and revered materials in the world. Centuries ago, it was hugely traded that most ancient paths are mapped into what is known as the Silk Road. I have read a lot about the Silk Road and have also read that silk was gotten from worms. And so many years later, I am here about to see silkworms for the first time. Okay, so this is mulberry and as you could see, the silkworm. This is a silkworm. Even from its body, you can already feel the cotton, like yeah. it's, it feels like, uh, not cotton, it feels like silk. Yeah. The worm itself, because of what it eats. It eats. They, their lifespan only no more than 60 days. 60 Every days. From baby silk room mm -hmm. to their uh, uh, life. Uh, what is this? The silk cocoon. Oh. And uh, every five days they grow bigger. They shed their skin. They shed their skin. Yeah. So is that skin that you now use like for a silk? Like no. uh, Yeah, I get. So this is a cocoon already. Yeah. yeah so, so is it a cocoon you then use for? Yeah, I show you on the. Okay. Uh, All right. So let's uh, move. It was so fascinating as my tour guide took me through the process of producing silk. To hatch the eggs. Okay. Then they became ants, very tiny uh, silkworm. That that's the egg. The ant, egg, egg. Okay. The egg. When the temperature exceeds uh, 15, oh, over 15 degrees. Yeah. They will hatch into the ant. Okay. Room. And it's very tiny. Then, this is the five days later, they grow. They, they grow. eat the small, the small mulberry leaf. The farmers scissor mm -hmm. the mulberry leaves into small pieces, then begin to eat it. Every five days, they grow bigger. They grow bigger. And shed their skin. Then, okay. uh, until uh, 25 days, like this, ah, oh, this is four. It's uh, already four. That, yeah. yeah. Then, they stop eating. Uh, okay. Silk is made of double cocoon. Double cocoon. Okay. Double cocoon's filaments are twisted, so we can't find the end of the filaments. So we can't uh, just uh, get the, uh, make uh, the, find the long fi fi uh, filaments to yeah. make the silk thread. But this kind of cocoon can be made into the stuffing of the quilt. Okay. The blanket. The blanket. The yeah. Du duna. Yeah. So they like duvet. Every yeah. To white. Every silk cocoon, double cocoon, they open that, get the ready of the pupas. The, the pupas. Pupil, yeah. Uh, two pupas inside. Okay. Not like uh, the smaller one. Smaller one. Bigger one, two pupas inside. Okay. They get them out, get the pupas out, then stretch them. Stretch them like this. Yeah, this is a wasted. Yeah. Mm. Stretch them like this, then they put the a small layer, it's a thick layer. Yeah. Then every thick layer needs a 64 double cocoon to make that. 64? Uh, 64. So here. Okay. And it's uh, also, it's kind of uh, material for bullet 
bulletproof. Uh, bulletproof. Bulletproof vest. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's very strong. You can, I can see. even use the knife. You cannot I can break see. it. Yeah. Okay. Here is the spinning machine. Okay. So. Oh. In summary, these worms are found on mulberry trees. Just like you will regularly find caterpillars eating leaves on trees. And after eating to their full, they metamorphose into pupas. It is at this stage they are harvested and then processed into silk threads. So they use up, they just uh, use, sell this to the uh, food of the goose and duck mach the factory. Okay. The, the, the factory. What, what is this? It's not that of the pupa. 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 Yeah. Pupa. pupa is high protein, can mm. be eaten. It can be eaten. Yeah. Just oh, like okay. some African eat uh, ants. Same yeah. thing, they um, still fry them. Okay. Yeah. People eat this? Yeah, people eat this. These silk threads are thereafter woven into fabrics for clothes, curtains, bed sheets, blankets, scarves, etc. It was a very enlightening day and I thought of the circle of life. Who would have thought that these tiny worms would be so useful to great emperors, kings, queens and regular people today? Next up, we will go on a boat ride on one of the world's longest canals. Foodies and Spice, Amazing China is powered by Beijing Wanxiang Travels. Welcome back. Suzu was so much fun from the electric train ride. Wow, that was a very fast train ride. To seeing that beautiful garden to the silk factory. Yes, I know it will amaze a lot of you to see that. Silk actually come from worms. Yes, I've known that for some time. When I went to Azerbaijan, they kept talking about the silkworm, silkworm, silkworm. Now I was able to see the silkworm firsthand in Suzu. So I have this oat here, fast cooking oats, desiccated coconut, one egg, butter. I'm soaking some raisins in here, and um, I have condensed milk with flour i also have bone vita of course bone vita is not just for drinking you can infuse them into your recipes so for my kiddies back to school snacks today i am making cookies i'm also going to make yogurt yes yogurt parfait that you can give them to go to school yogurt is good for kids and homemade cookies as well it's fantastic so let's get to it <laughs> Especially now that the kids were actually at home with me, we had a lot of mommy. I want to eat biscuits, mommy. I want this, I want that, I want this, and I had to always look out for what is in my fridge, what is in my pantry to just quickly prepare something for them. Yeah, so um, this is a very easy go to cookie, and I'm using about uh, one to two tablespoons of butter. These are things you can always find in your house and i have like one cup of flour here so i'm just going to work the butter into the flour until it forms like bread crumbs okay so i'll just add the uh, baking powder and baking soda so about one tablespoon of baking soda and about half of baking powder I've got an egg here, I'll just crack, then I'll be adding condensed milk. Now the reason why I'm not adding sugar is because condensed milk is very very sweet already, very very sweet. I'll add desiccated coconut. Okay. So I'll be adding about two cups of oat, bit by bit. Now this is quick cook oats, like the one you use for making your oat breakfast in the morning. 
the texture you are looking for is a texture that will enable you roll a ball now after adding your condensed milk if you notice that you cannot conveniently roll a ball you can just add a little bit of flour to it so but this texture is okay and you don't need to over knead it you don't need to over knead it at all just mix make sure you incorporate everything and it's fine okay so i'm going to cover it now give it like 10 20 minutes to rest before i begin to roll it so i'm going to portion this into two places one goes in here one stays back here now the one that goes in here i'll add some raisins And for this other portion, I will add bon vita. Now, this bon vita is going to be serving as chocolate, yeah. So rather than add chocolate chips and all those chocolate that are expensive, you can just use your bon vita, and you will get something just like having chocolate cookies. Yeah, so. Okay, so I'll just take um, flour in a plate. I need this. So I'm set to start rolling. To roll that properly. And drop it here. At this point, I'll go and preheat my oven. I will set it on it's going to cook for just 20 to um, 30 minutes, but I just preheat it now and um, I'll just keep watching it though. So I just take something with a flat surface. So I'm going to go set it in the oven now to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes but I'll just keep watching it. So while we wait for our cookies, I'll show you another very easy way to make your kids yogurt look very beautiful this back to school. Yes, my kids love yogurt a lot and um, we can just make it more beautiful for them. First thing, I'll get a spoon. I kept one spoon around here, yeah. So this is yogurt. I prefer to use Greek yogurt for them because it's easier for them to handle. It doesn't spill when um, they try to eat yogurt in school. So I'll just take some of that yogurt and drop it in there. I've got some strawberries. Now, to make this much fun, I'll be adding some bon vita. Yes. Now, bon vita contains folic acid, it contains zinc, it contains calcium. So why not add it? Some blueberries. Top it up with some more strawberries. And of course, a little drizzle of bon vita. More hot. So, this is just good for school lunch. Yeah, especially if you have fuzzy eaters. 
and they really don't want to eat so much you can just make them this beautiful bovita yogurt parfait with fruit cover it they take to school and they'll definitely enjoy it so you may not want to give kids um, bottles to school yes because they might um, injure themselves break it and all of that but there are little um, containers I have very little containers for packing yogurt for my kids so you can always always um, buy such containers <laughs> Hey, for the holly soda pato from the gist suzu now we go today now i really really enjoyed suzu it was so beautiful if you think about venice and italy you would think about suzu you can place both of them side by side especially because of the water canal anyway that said if you want to go see these things that i saw all those beautiful sides there is a november group tour yes yeah, so all the information is on your screen right now for this november group tour i wouldn't like you to miss it and it's quite affordable yes another thing you should know about this group tour is that it's not even about just going alone you are also able to go to market and shop in china if you want to yes there are days left out in the plan or in the schedule for you to do your shopping and buying of things you want to buy so please call the customer care line or hit me up yes if you don't know what to do and if you want to go for this group tour from visa to accommodation everything will be provided for you that's it let me quickly read your messages today we made um, cookies yeah we're making cookies and cookies are quite um interesting especially for kids as a mom you are not only just the mother you are also their cook you are also their baker you are also their everything you know it's quite easy to make these cookies from your everyday ingredients you have at home this is this one is not difficult at all there's no much whipping no much kneading no much any of all those things you just put your things together and this cookie is perfect trust me perfect especially in taste it's not too sweet it's just perfect for the kind of sweet that you want your child to put in their in their body okay let me quickly read message from youtube and this is from our akara boga lizzie of Arase, god bless you for taking us with you throughout your travels and yummy recipes my dear gorgeous sister gina um okay yeah so that's lizzie um anestina message say i came to watch after seeing the pictures on instagram so if you're not following me on instagram um, at gina foodies and spice is my instagram handle please follow because that's where i put like everything happening part time online that's where you find it yeah and on um, youtube is www.youtube.com slash deny that's where i'm reading from now so you should subscribe and also see any of those videos that you have missed you will see all of them there courage and blessing i love you so much i really would love to be part of the tour so inspiring i love your cooking they have really helped my family thank you so much courage glory says congratulations nancy say nice recipe thank you all so much so let's go back and complete this hour homemade snacks for back to school Let's see how this one did. Whoa. Yeah. It's chewy on the inside. Just the kind of cookie one gives to your child. No much sugar. Yeah, I forget I forgot to add flavorings today. So if you can add vanilla flavor if you want, cinnamon, whatever flavor you prefer, but this is still good. Don't forget. Uh, bon vita you see the bon vita in there serving as chocolate chips really mm. this is very good you really want to know what your kids are putting in their mouth or in their body so with this you can verify that you just use normal fast cooking oats normal flour Condensed milk, so because of the condensed milk, I'm not adding any sugar because condensed milk is sweet already. Eggs, a little bit of butter. Mm. 
Plus, there's this kitty. It's not only for kids. Even adults can eat it. Please love me. So we meet again next week. <laughs>